Hello everyone, welcome to another LEGO set review. Today we have another LEGO Movie 2 set for you here. It is 70849 Wild Mayhem Starfighter. Um, fun fact, this was the very last set that they made for the um, theme, which is a little sad. And it's actually the only set with all four of the main characters from the second part. So you get both Emmett and Lucy, the main ones, and then you get Rex and Mayhem, who are the new characters. So that's cool. It's the only one that you get all four of them on the box, which is cool. And this has 405 parts, and it retailed for like 40 bucks. I think that's definitely overpriced. It should have been like 25, 30 maybe. I got it for 22, so definitely a good discount. Um, but yeah, you get the actual Starfighter. And then you get the four figures. You actually get um, some star figures too, which is nice. And some other accessories. Uh, let's take a look at the figures, which you probably want to see first. Um, let's leave the ship in the background. Um, so you get the four main characters. Uh, I mean, aside from Batman and the Queen. You get, the first one up is Lucy. I guess you could say, yeah, she just goes by Lucy now. No more wild style. <laughs> Um, although they call her this on the box, which is oh, interesting. She does- okay, this is gonna have major spoilers for the end of the film. It's just- you, I can't talk about it without spoiling a lot of stuff. So, yeah, it's unavoidable. Um, so if you haven't seen the film, go see it, then watch this. Anyway, here's Lucy. She has a little heart bomb in her hand. She's basically her full detailed form from the second movie- um, except she doesn't have a quiver, and she doesn't have her scarf for her goggles. Uh, pretty much the same wild style from, like, the bigger sets. Um, her hair is, this is her actual hair color. So this is, like, the turquoise with the pink. That's actually what her hair really looks like, not sharpied on. Um, she does have a double face. Here's her very angry look because she's fighting Rex, who is basically the villain at this point. And he does have an alternate, which is very sincere. Uh, Emmett has the same kind of look because they're, um, they're, um, spoiler alert, actually together. And yeah, she's awesome. Um, I believe this is the only set in the, in the second movie to include this hood piece, which is nice. Very good figure. Very good figure. The next one is Sweet Mayhem. She looks very different because this is without her helmet so without all of her intimidating stuff so no gun no helmet no you know no um hello bombs <laughs> none of that um she doesn't have a helmet in the set which is okay um no accessories technically but she does get a little heart to hold if you want this is her ship so she built it with lucy or wild style so that's why she um and then the yes, Sorry. That's why her name is in the set. So yeah. Pretty cool. This is actually exclusive to the set because she has a happier look. Um, so that's cool. Her hair piece is awesome as usual. And she has her wings which can move up and down. And yeah, pretty sweet mini doll. Definitely a contender for best mini doll ever made, in my opinion. Uh, next up is Rex Danger Vest. This is the villain. Yeah, he's the villain of the whole movie. Spoilers, like, very heavy spoilers. Uh, he's got a gun, because he's going to shoot Lucy. And he's got a jetpack, which is pretty cool, like a little lightning piece. He has the same details as every set with him. He's got some arm printing, pretty cool color scheme with the lime green and the dark blue. He does have his Rex hair. And he's pretty angry here, because he's trying to turn Emmett into himself. Spoiler alert, because Rex is Emmett from the future. <laughs> So, spoiler. Uh, he does have another face, which is him fading out of existence. So, yeah, he's back to the future, <laughs> as he says in the film. So, there you go. Rex is awesome. Um, very, very great figure. And he is exclusive to all four of them are exclusive versions of themselves, which is awesome. And lastly, we get Emmett. Now, this is probably the more interesting Emmett because he doesn't have his usual torso. It's actually the Rex Danger Vest, so that's cool. He does have still have the Emmett sleeves, but now he looks more like Rex, 
which is very appropriate because they're trying to turn like Rex is trying to turn him Emmett into himself which he actually ends up being later on so here he is this is actually really cool so you get two different versions of Emmett in the set you can actually have him like this as Rex like scared like this or you can take the Rex hair off they give you the regular Emmett hair so you can make him just regular Emmett um, he does have an alternate face as well, which is very sincere. So again, like Lucy, it matches hers. Because they're... It's, it makes sense at the end of the movie. It, they, it makes sense if you see it. Um, so yeah. There is Emmett. Probably the most boring figure, but it's the most important one. Because he's the... It, everything's happening to him. So yeah. They're all, so basically... Wildstyle and Sweet Mayhem are in the ship. They build the ship. They go to stop Rex, who is the villain. He's trying to turn Emmett into himself. And they're fighting under the dryer, which is ridiculous. Um, but it makes sense. And so they're all trying to rescue Emmett, who's being um, tortured by Rex. So yeah, it makes sense, again, if you've seen it. But those are all the figures. They're awesome. Um, my favorite is Sweet Mayhem because she's just so unique. Um... As a figure and as a character, in my opinion. But the other figures are awesome as well. So yeah, very exclusive characters. It's fitting that the last set in the theme would give you some of the more most unique versions of these. Um, so that's nice. So the only th other thing that you build is this Starfighter, which is a very obviously a Star Wars thing. Um, before I show you that, I wanted to show you a couple of other things. Hold on. As I drop them. You actually get three star figures. So this is the most stars that you get in a set. You get a angry one, a happy one, and a surprised one, I guess you could say. And these will come into play later on, actually, in the ship. So that's cool. And, um, yeah, very nice. I already mentioned the Emmet hair that you get as extra. And you get some one-by-one one heart pieces, which are very, very good pieces, in my opinion. Uh, they're very, very nice. You get three of them, which is cool. And so here's the ship. Sorry, I'm going to try to turn the brightness up so you can see it. It's a very vibrant ship. Like, it looks very, very colorful, which is cool. You can't tell on camera, but this color down here is a teal. It's a little hard to tell. Um, you get a dark pink color with some blue, like light blue, and then you get the teal with some white and black. It looks really good. This is actually made from the previous Mayhem ship, the actual Sistar Starship set, which I hopefully I can get that someday. That's the eyeball ship, the one that the main ship that Sweet Mayhem uses. Um, and this one is more like the end of the movie ship. It doesn't get that much screen time, but I think it's actually better than the other one. It just looks really cool. Um, I kind of collect Lego ships, so this is kind of a cool, unique version i know it looks girly it's a little girly but it still looks really good like it's a, just a really good designed like ship in general like i know it didn't appear that much in the movie but it's still cool and i picked it up because i really like this design um and i like that it looks girly <laughs> it's definitely a different ship in my collection but still it's nice um it does have some features I did want to point out, this does have some stickers. I think it has nine. So we've got one here. We've got two. We've got one here, one here, one here, one here. So these are all, like, basically her symbols of her ship. And we've got two here on this massive fin. And on the inside of the cockpit, we have two stickers. I'll show that in a minute. Um, but yeah, this whole thing is cool. It does have a disc shooter, which is on the front. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see. Um, here it is. Um, the way to fire this is unique. So on the back, there's this little kind of build here. And if you push this, it'll shoot the um, the disc, which is actually pretty dang hard. It shoots it really far. You get an extra one if you lose it. So that's nice. And it has a little print of a star, which is funny because you get that exact star in the set. So that's cool. Um, aside from that, it does have another feature, um, which is involving the star. So if you open this cockpit up, it's going to be a little hard to show. 
um, there's a little bit of a build here. And if you stick these stars in here, kind of just empty slots for them, three little slots. And if you close this up, turn it to the back. So that same feature that the launch the um the disc if you pull that back something else will happen i'm gonna try to show this uh it doesn't always work but here we go so if you pull that back it launches the stars like bombs which is very very accurate to the actual movie version which is cool so it's cool that this whole mechanism is controlled by two different ways so if you want to launch the stars you pull it back if you want to launch the disc you push it forward so that's just really cool that they incorporated two different features into one motion which is really cool uh let's see the last feature is not that special there's these two little bubble cockpits and if you open them up this reveals seats for lucy if i can focus this so here's lucy's seat and Sweet Mayhem, of course, who is the uh, builder of the ship. And I wanted to show the stickers because they're really cool. If I can zoom in. Oh, hold on. Get them in there. So this is a sticker of a Rexwing fighter. And yes, you heard me right. That is the name of the ship. And it's not. It's definitely a reference, um, which is pretty cool. Rex knows his pop culture for sure. Uh, so that's one of the stickers. The other sticker is of the Sistar system. So if it actually will focus, yeah, there we go. There's the Sistar system. So that's cool. As a little bit, bit of a hologram. Um, I'm not gonna put the figures in here, but let me see if I can have a, okay, I'm gonna use Mr. Generic as an example. So here, if you wanna put a minifigure in there, there you go. That's what they look like when they're in there. Sweet Mayhem barely fits because she has these wings that are you can kind of retract them, which is kind of nice. And yeah, um, other than that, there's one more thing with the ship that you that it can do. There's like a couple of hidden compartments. One over here, one over here. It's just the same thing. Um, you can put the little heart pieces in there, or you can put the Emmett hair in there, whatever you want. And can go in there, which is nice. Really cool. And uh, yeah, I like the shaping on this top section. And I like the engines. I like everything about this. I It just looks so cool. Um, definitely unique in the theme. Uh, I know it didn't get that much screen time compared to the Sistar Starship. But I just think this is the, um, one of the better sets in the line. And it's cool that this was the last one. You got some of the... You got all four of the main characters. You got some cool heart... Or not heart. Yeah, heart pieces. And you get some cool stars. Um... Some really cool designs with this whole ship. Um, and it's cool that Mayhem and Lucy built this themselves, like, together. So, you know, sweet Mayhem is not the villain. So, yeah, we thought she was, but she's not. So, bit of a plot twist. Um, yeah, awesome. I love this set. It's probably my third favorite set in this theme. Uh, my favorite is probably the Queen one, because it just... It's so random. Like, it's just so funny. Um, yeah, that's... That's it for this one. Sorry if it took a little bit longer. Um, just, yeah, I just really like this one. Um, really great. If you can find this on a deal, definitely, I definitely recommend it. I know it is girly, but it is definitely a unique ship. Um, so, yeah, if you want something new and unique and has something, um, just has a really cool look and it has a lot of cool building techniques, then you'll enjoy this one. I do not regret buying it. I think it was a great choice for them to make even though it didn't get that much screen time. But still, you get all four of the main characters. So the only set that does that. And it was the last set. So kind of a, it kind of went out with a bang, kind of. Um, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, the Wild Mayhem Starfighter. Cool set, cool figures, cool value. Just really cool, in my opinion. But what do you think? Do you hate this one? Do you like it? Did you, do you want to get it? Do you not? Let me know what you think. And, um... Yeah, I want to get some more movie two sets eventually, like more some of the bigger ones, you know, down the line. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe the Rex Celsius, maybe the Sistar Starship, maybe Emmett's Dream House. That'd be kind of nice. But yeah, this is a great set. Cool, very nice. I uh, hope you liked this review. If you did, great. 
Um, if you didn't, great <laughs> as well. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned, and have an awesome day.